So, so these governments, the government is a part of building these homes. They're part of this process of building these homes. They're part of this process of bringing Buddhist settlers, uh, many of them coming from other parts of Rakhine State, and moving them into these uh, areas that used to be populated by Rohingya. Um, you know, the report says that. Uh, these homes were scorched. We've known that for months that so many of these villages were, were scorched down. We've known that since August 2017. They've now built new structures, new homes where Buddhists are moving in. In other cases, they're building uh, buildings for security apparatus, for police, military. Uh, this gets to the heart of what many critics of the government have been saying for more than a year, that the Rohingya were being driven out, areas were being remade, and then they would bring in large numbers of Buddhists to the areas where the Rohingya used to live. On top of this, a government official told the Reuters team that any Rohingya refugees who repatriate would have to negotiate with the local government to get their land back or get compensated for it. That's not gonna encourage any refugees in Bangladesh to come back. David, we ask you the same question and we have been for over a year. When is this repatriation going to take place? Bearing in mind that many of those more than 700,000 who are now living in Bangladesh, they say, we don't ever want to go back. Yeah, so it's impossible to really say when it's going to start. The Myanmar government has been saying uh, since January that they are ready for repatriation to start. There actually are a lot of refugees who say they would like to eventually go back to Myanmar, but not under these conditions, not without dramatic changes in these conditions. I mean, this Reuters investigation shows that the government plans to put repatriating refugees, large numbers of them, in selected areas that are separated from the rest of the population. And the concern here is that instead of them being a part of the rest of the community in Rakhine, they would be apart, separated from the community. We see this now just to the south and central Rakhine state, where 120,000 Rohingya have been living in squalid IDP camps since their homes were burned down in a riot six years ago, restrictions on their movement, limited access to education and health care. That's real concerns this could be repeated in northern Rakhine. Right now, it's really impossible to say when repatriation would start. Repatriation is supposed to be voluntary, not forced repatriation. Myanmar has been saying it's ready, but the international community and Bangladesh and the refugees in Bangladesh say that these conditions are not suitable for them to start going back.